Yo, this is Primate City TV. My name is Prime Ryan. R.A. the Rugged Man. Hello, Stevie. What's up? Nice to have you here. We're here at Hip Hop Camp 2011, 10th anniversary. You just knocked down a show. Just knocked I it down. You knocked it down. Good thing the How weather was for didn't you? knock it down, right? Huh? Good thing the weather didn't knock it down, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky, lucky. Okay. Um, Rugged Man. Lucky, lucky. Man, when, when I think of you, I think of raw honesty. Like you told me, that shit is whack. What do you think about yourself? I think you're being really, you're being really honest in your songs. And as I got to know you a couple of minutes ago, you're a real honest man. I'm usually 100% honest with everything, and it gets me in a lot of trouble. Only time I lie sometimes is with women. I don't always tell women. But, the but truth. just to get there. No, just to get away from trouble. Like, okay. Oh yeah, tell her. You know, sometimes I lie to girls, but besides that, in life and business, I'm a little bit too honest. You know. Right. Do you think that's a weakness, or do you think that's a, well, a strong? I think it is a weakness sometimes, because I just can't help but tell the truth. It's like that Jim Carrey movie. <laughs> I fuck myself up. What about? Somebody's like, hey, what do you think? And I'm like, you, you're a faggot. You don't know how to do shit. You're a shitty a &R. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of garbage. Shut the fuck up. Meanwhile, I should be like, just be like, you know. You do good work, you yes. Have, you don't have, no, you don't have to lie to them, but you don't got to tell them the truth. You could just leave them alone. Just don't like, say I'm nothing. so quick to tell a motherfucker the truth. Like, meanwhile, I could be like, let that motherfucker think what he thinks and go there. Walk away from it. Your mouth is faster than your brain sometimes. But I'm like, motherfucker. motherfucker. Okay, so, right, right. Okay. You, know. um, you got real dope videos uh, since you're a filmmaker, I think. Um, do you also direct your videos yourself? Yeah, I direct a little, I produce a little, I write a little bit. You know, I, I go in, I go in, I write, I write every one of them almost. But uh, and I direct a lot of them. And I got a team called the brood babies i work with my little homeboys that i met them when they were coming out of college and i kind of recruited them and now they're grown men and they're doing good and, and 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 i put a lot of trust in them they put a lot of trust in me and we work well together you know so they like your small soldiers and you're the general well you know it started off like that but now you know that you know they're their own men you know and and, and it's good to have a team you know cool cool um, we got to talk about the porn star video for I Should Have Never. I was, first time I saw it was like two, two weeks ago with my, with my homeboys and we were saying, okay, it's on YouTube now. How long will it take to put it offline? I tried to watch it like two days ago. It was offline on YouTube. It was still on Dailymotion. They only censored your lyrics. What do you think about that? Because normally in the US, sex star things are censored first. That was a wild video. I did that uh, probably in 99 or 2001, I can't remember. It was right after I did that crazy Smut Peddlers video, so it was that same era. And uh, it was a crazy video. I don't know, uh, I don't know what I think about it. It's funny, it's funny jokes. Yeah, we had a lot of fun, like one of, one of, one of the guys posted like it on Facebook last, and was like, damn. I like, I like the last 45 seconds of it when I pull out my brain and I'm shooting. Yeah, I want to talk, talk about that. because I did it with a baseball bat. I thought that was smart. I was watching it before again because I downloaded it because I thought, yeah, I might, might get over it. Um, I think it's, it could be a metaphor. Like, you That's partying hard, yeah, like all the seven sins and drink and fuck up your brain by taking drugs. Then you, you pull your brain out with that. But then you kind of get like sober and then you think, what the fuck did I do? I, I won't, you're do killing your killing your brain like you do with the baseball bat and you're shooting your brain and then you eat your brain like, I want my brain back, what's happening? Well, similar to that. It's not a drug reference, but it's beating your own brain up. You know, it is a metaphor, you know? And maybe it's, you get too lost in your own brain where constantly beat your goddamn self up and you hate your brain and you want to fucking piss on your brain and beat it the fuck up you know but you love yourself but you hate yourself you know it was a metaphor okay cool um on facebook it says your political view uh views is guns and bibles would you explain that you know guns and bibles that's a political view right they, they say because you know in america now it's like uh 
they try to make it if you're religious, you're a freak of nature. If you have faith in God, you're one of those religious freaks. So that what they do is they point all the, the religious people, all the Christians, and they turn them into, oh, you know, those are the Walmart gun-toting guys, and those are the Bible swing, you know, like they make it like anybody that appreciates God or a higher power is a nut job. Not all of them, but a lot of, you know, the, the, the fucking liberals try to push you like you're bad if you have a faith. So my political view is guns and Bibles, you know? It's like f f fight and faith. It's the everyday struggle, but still believing in something higher. No, 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 no. Uh, you, you don't understand because it, if you saw it, like, the way they try to point, they try to paint a certain group of people as the Walmart. They buy guns at the Walmart and they read their Bibles with their gun in hand, you know. It's just an American view of things. Like so trying to pigeonhole them. Yeah, so it's more like, that's why in the Vinny Paz verse it said, uh, how do I start the verse of, of, of what's my verse on, on nosebleed? Verse? Yeah. Oh, ruin your idol. Oh, ruin your idol, I'm glued to the Bible, let my rifle. Yeah, see? First line. I'm glued to my Bible and my rifle. It's a political type yeah. of thing. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. I um, put you on the spot. Um, is that your first uh, time in the Czech Republic? First, first time you're here in the Czech Republic no, today? I've been here quite a few times. It's a cool hip-hop scene out here? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Cool, cool. Um, I heard you're working on a new album. It has been a while since your last album dropped. Um, what have you been focusing on during the time? Touring and stuff, maybe a lot of doing a lot of film well, well, stuff. Well, I've been recording a lot. Like if you look, I, 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 you know, a lot of feature stuff. Yeah, I recorded at least 20 songs last year, 20 songs a year before that. So I'm working, and I, I, I since since uh, the last two albums, uh, Die Rugged Man Die and Legendary Classics dropped. Between those, I probably did 500, 600 shows in my life. You know, in the last. I, what? Cool. So so you know within the last bunch of years I've been doing a lot and I produced a fucking movie that I financed myself with Shane Kessler and, and Vinnie Paz and some people and, and, and we had no team you know I, I did a did a, and I'm working on a goddamn uh, documentary and I just started already the ruggedman.net which is a great new website for movies I've been there a couple of times boxing. the last day yeah movies and boxing and movies and music and women And the, the Rugged Man Girls, oh, the Rugged, Rugged Man Girls. Girl of the, of the Month. You saw the new one with the, the white girl with the powerful ass? White girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Erica Smith, check her out. Uh, uh, okay. She's actually the star of a new video I directed for me and Psalm One. Psalm One is a Rhyme Sayers artist, you know, she signed to Atmospheres label. Uh, Rhyme Sayers is cool. Well, she signed to that and I just directed her video, which I, I'm the co-star of. <laughs> Looking forward to see that. Um, Tell us something about the new album. What are we gonna hear? Who's producing? It's gonna be uh, whatever album come out that year. My album's gonna be better. It's gonna be the best album of the year. That's the word. That's the word. We're gonna listen to that. Um, you and your uh, record labels do not have the best relationship. Like in the '90s, nobody wanted to sign you or to sign you. Then they no, kicked you. Oh, everybody wanted to yeah. sign me in the '90s. They kicked you out. Um, I remember like one. Everybody uh, always wants to sign me. They, I, they just get scared of me for a little while, and then yeah. they blackball me, but then they always want me. Everybody wants me. I remember one record, is, I think it was some Fat I'm, Groove, so Groove uh, Underground stuff, Method Man was on it. It was, it was like something put together, white label. Uh, and, you, really. and you start off, I'll be the rugged man, hated by everyone. Yeah. That line, those lines, when, when I'm thinking of you, those lines always come well, back to my head. Well, you saw the cover Legendary Classics with all the guns and weapons to my head. You ever saw that picture? No. That's the definition oh, that of my the, life. Oh, no, I remember, yeah. All right. Um, have you ever thought of starting your own label? Does that, uh, why anybody going to even start a label in this day and age? My main hustle is the shows, the touring. Make music. Yeah, making the music. But, you know, who, want, who the fuck wants to be Puff Daddy this day and age, you know? I don't want to. Um, you get German roots because of your mom? Um, do we have any German traditions at home, like stuff you cook or your mom cooked? Yeah, my mother macht um, 
Schumpfnudel, Spätzle, Gulasch, Schnitzel. Also Schwäbisch. Ja, yeah, we're from the south. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Schwaben. I'm from Bavaria. Uh, yeah. Ich bin aus Oberbayern. We're from Siegelsbach. It's about 40 minutes from Heidelberg. Cool. Yeah. You ever been there? I was just there four days ago. Ah, yeah, Stuttgart, Heidelberg. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, on the album American Low Life, there's a track called German Pussy Freestyle. That's not an album. That's a that's bootleg. Somebody put, oh, there's, okay. a, there's a real album, American Low Life, that was for Priority Records that never released because of problems with law, law and a bunch of problems but uh the pussy freestyle was for roy marquis mixtape back in 1994 or five or six seven i don't remember what year but uh, that's what that was okay okay um you hosted the grand finale of the white rapper show with mc search you came out um asked the devil whose idea was that It was their idea, but they had the idea from my lessons video, you know, and, you know, so if you're going to be uh, a, a judge on a corporate run television network, what better way to be, be a judge than be the devil himself? Because you work for kind of the devil. I still never Maybe. saw that episode. I saw it. I saw it. I, was, I, I thought, I, yeah, I really cool. To see it. I, I left the tour the next morning. So, uh, yeah, that was it. Okay. Um... You're a big movie fan, especially when it comes to Stanley Kubrick. Have you ever met him? Nah, uh, nobody met that guy. <laughs> I heard Goldie from the UK, the house music yeah. producer. I heard yeah, he the drum and bass. I heard he got to meet Kubrick. I heard that Kubrick was interested in him possibly scoring Eyes Wide Shut. And, uh, or maybe not scoring, but doing certain music for certain scenes. But I think they just met and then, and then Kubrick didn't go further with it. I could be wrong about that, but I read about that. Okay, okay. Um, are you planning on some new videos? Uh, yes. So you're working on a video, you're working on a documentary, we filmed your show for you for the documentary? Out, there's a video coming out tomorrow uh, or Monday with uh, for Timbo King's new album. It's called High Ranking. And you can cool. listen to the song right now. It's a funny-ass song. But the video's real crazy. He's actually in the video. But uh, I'm gonna do about I'm gonna do a lot of videos for the new album because all my songs are great. So I want to do a lot. Every song could be a video. That's cool. Like Loop, Loop to Rock is kind of doing the same right now. They like, oh, maybe putting out a video for every track. Um, your favorite movie is? Of all time? There's too many movies, man, in history. So I don't know. You And know, today? Like, like my favorite mainstream movie is Rambo 2, First Blood. He just kills everybody in that movie. Like on a mainstream tip. But then there's underground films too. Like, uh, ah, man, I got fucking a, a million movies at home, so I love every movie, you know? I love so many movies. You know? Yeah, you might much w What's watch... What's my favorite German movie? Uh, you didn't ask me that, but let me think. Did you ever see The Tin Drum? What? With the little boy who screams and shit, The Tin Drum? It's a German yeah, movie. Yeah, the, the Blechtrommel. That one's crazy. And uh, a lot of Fritz Lang movies. You know, the, the Testament of Dr. Mabuse, I always shout out that movie. That's a really okay. crazy one. Silent film. Crazy. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Germans were the greatest filmmakers on the planet at one time. Yes, right. Did you know that? Okay. Oh, okay. okay, I think we got to quit. R.A., thank you for the interview. That's it, Primus City TV. Hey, yo, yo, this is the one and only R.A., the rugged man, Deutschland, baby, and I'm checking out Pr Primus City TV. I'm a little retarded. Like my homegirl Nova say, ich bin behindert. <laughs> But already rugged, man, baby. Deutschland.